Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. My dear chosen brothers and sisters, this is yet another word to encourage you. That my brothers and sisters, God will fight for you your battles. This is a word that is going to encourage you. God will fight your battles. So do not be afraid. The battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. Some of you have been caught up in the middle of a fight between two kingdoms. Between people where you have nothing to do about it. But I want to assure you, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you today that God is ready to fight for you your battles. In fact, God is fighting for you your battles right about now. So my encouragement to you is keep praying. Never underestimate the power of prayer. That is why Jesus, when he found his disciples sleeping, he woke them up. And he told them, couldn't you watch and pray with me for at least an hour? He went ahead to tell them that men ought to pray and not faint. You are supposed to pray without ceasing. So don't give up just because it did not work today. It does not mean it's not going to work tomorrow. Just because you have been struggling from day one to day two, it does not mean that you are going to continue struggling. Your situation, God is dealing with it. Your predicament, God is putting it away. God is putting an end to that problem. So my brothers and sisters, these words that I speak to you are very powerful. The words you, that I speak to you are words of God. Words that are going to help you. And today's word is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 1 to 4. Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 1 to 4. And it reads, When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you who brought you up from the land of Egypt. So it shall be when you are on the verge of battle, that the priest shall approach and speak to the people. And he shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not be afraid. And do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. What an amazing scripture. That the scripture starts by saying that when you go out to battle against your enemies, listen my brothers and sisters, the scripture clearly tells you that there is a battle that is coming. There is a battle that is coming. If you have not gone through it, it is coming. If you are going through it, listen to these words. That when you go out into battle and against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. The scripture clearly tells you that there is a time that is going to come where your enemies are going to be more numerous than you, where those that hate you, those that gossip, those that are, um, are narcissists are going to gather and team up together. And the number is going to be big and they will come up against you. Now the scripture says that when you see them, when you see them, do not be afraid. For the Lord your God is with you who brought you up from the land of Egypt. The scripture says that the Lord your God is with you, my brothers and sisters. No matter what you are going through. I know some of you, your enemies may not even be physical people. 
Your enemies are spiritual. Your enemies could be dead. Your enemies could be sickness. Your enemies could be depression. Your enemies could be suicidal thoughts. Your enemies could be financial problems. But when you see them coming together at you, do not be afraid of them. Do not be afraid because God is fighting for you, your battles. Brothers and sisters, you are not alone. Because those that are with you are more than they that are against you. God is with you. He has an army of angels that you may not even see or comprehend that are fighting for you on a daily basis. So trust in the Lord. Trust in God that is going to fight for you. Do not be terrified. Don't be petrified. Don't try to, to go out and uh, seek solutions from other people because those people are not going to help you. In fact, you may realize that the people that you are seeking solution from are the ones that cause that problem, are the ones that are trying to attack you, are the ones that are put traps ahead of you. The only one that you can run to is God. That is why the scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. You will only be safe in the name of the Lord. You will only find safety in God alone. It is God that will bring you out of that predicament. Not your friends, but God. My brothers and sisters, this is the end of this message. That God will fight for you your battles. Some of you are battling cancer. Some of you are battling diseases that doctors do not have a clue about. The doctors have failed to handle. But God is a healer above all healers. God is a deliverer. God will bring you out of that captivity. Trust in God. Brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.